G'day, welcome to Todd's Kitchen. There are so many recipes out there for cookies, it's just unbelievable. But I've had a few requests for Subway-like cookies. So today I'm going to cook my version of a Subway white chocolate and macadamia cookie. Okay, let's start off with it to a mixer bowl. We're going to place in our softened, unsalted butter. And we're just going to beat this on low just until it's nice and creamy. Okay, now that's nice and creamy, we're going to place in our brown sugar. And we're going to mix it through again. Okay, now while that's beating, we're going to crack in our eggs. And we're going to do it one at a time. So once it's mixed through, then we'll crack through the second one. Yeah, next we're going to put in our vanilla extract. Next we're going to add in two cups of normal all-purpose flour, followed by one tablespoon of bicarb soda. Then on low, we're just going to mix it completely through. Okay, next we're going to add in about a cup of white chocolate bits. And finally, about a half a cup of macadamia nuts that are just lightly chopped up in a food processor. And we're just going to mix that through for about just a few seconds, just so it's completely combined. Okay, got a baking tray here lined with non-stick baking paper. So we're just going to grab some of the mix, just a bit at a time. Just make rough balls like so. And we're just going to place that right onto the parchment paper. Just make sure you leave enough room in between each because they will spread. Okay, once done, we're going to place this into a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 to 12 minutes. Okay, so I've taken them out of the oven and I've got them on a wire rack to completely cool. Now I'll tell you what, they've turned out fantastic too. Now it's time to give one of these a taste. Oh, yummy. Oh, that tastes fantastic. Combination of the, those white chocolate pieces and the macadamia nuts really set this off. It's almost identical to the ones you get at Subway. That tastes simply delish. Thank you for watching this episode of Todd's Kitchen. A list of ingredients are down below in the description bar, as well as links to my Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus pages. Please show me the love by giving me a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time for another delicious recipe.